You ready to go to date? Hey y'all, TGIF, it's Friday. I'm on my way home from work. Sorry, I think the sun is right behind me, so y'all probably getting a pretty bad glare. I'm trying to keep my hand in the way. Um, so, I've been so busy this week. Um, I think the last video y'all saw was from Monday on my mom's birthday. And I've literally, every day since then, well, except yesterday, every day I've had something to do after work. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday were both wedding things. On Tuesday, I met with the um, with the coordinator, and then Wednesday I met with the DJ, and then Thursday, um, my friend Brianna had is is working at a gala tomorrow, so she needed it to pick up her dress for it. So I went with her to do that. Um. So and then. We're here today. Today is the day that me and Nabil are going to go out for our anniversary, even though we're a few days late. Um, but y'all saw how the weekend went, so uh, so we're gonna go do something today. We'll probably go out to dinner. I'm gonna try to surprise him and go somewhere that we haven't been before. Sorry, I keep looking over here. I'm trying to make sure y'all aren't getting a glare. Um, so yeah, we're going to try to go somewhere that, or I'm going to try to surprise him and go somewhere that we've never been before. Um, but traffic is terrible. My gosh, I'm going like 10 miles per hour, literally. So who even knows when I'm going to get home? It's 629. Let me stop blabbering and let me um, try to maneuver through this traffic. I literally almost stopped. Like y'all probably can't see out of the window, but I'm barely moving. I'm going between zero and 15 miles per hour stop and go. I'm never gonna get home. All right, I'll catch y'all in a few minutes. <laughs> Go potty. We're back. We ended up going to Stony River, what's it called? Stony, is it Steakhouse? Stony River Steakhouse. And it was really good. The food was so good. I'm super full. <sighs> I see, I tried to do something real quick to my hair, but. <clears throat> these shoes in forever. <laughs> I'm so tired, y'all. We ate like a lot of food. You ready to go to bed? Ain't nothing on Netflix. We already know that. We looked. Who definitely did? Yeah. Although I heard something came out on Netflix though. On Tuesday, either a new movie or a new show. Tell them about your dinner steaks. Huh? Oh 
the box shirt today. Oh, it was good. It was delicious. Them steak rolls was on point. Mm hmm. Yes, those steak rolls were good. My salad wasn't that good. I got a soup, lobster bisque soup and a wedge salad. That wasn't that good. But the appetizer was delicious. The bread was delicious. And the dessert. It was amazing. I need to do this here. I'm going to just chop it off and then put it on there. No, we need to do it. I can't even see my parts, man. I should be hating when I get it done. I look like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> you don't. I do. I feel like I'm bald in the middle. How can this ever be bald in the middle? Look at all this hair. Because of the parts, man. You're supposed to see your parts. I don't want my parts seen. But you're supposed to see parts. I want my dress like them Haitians. No. I want, honestly, I want it. I only wanted like five dreads. All right, guys, we're about to go. I'm about to go to bed. I'm about to watch some e sports, the ESPN. The sports Center is the show, ESPN. So we'll see y'all in the morning. You probably won't see me. This ain't goodbye. This will see you later. I like that. That should be our song. Though. Cheers. Good morning, y'all. My hair is ugly today. So sorry. But I didn't have time to do anything with it because we're about to run down to Virginia to exchange the bridesmaid's dress. And we need to get there early because Greggy's first football game is today. Really? But we got a pleasant surprise. Well, it wasn't really a surprise. I just remember we were supposed to get something in the mail today. It's already open. So I just cut it. I didn't open the box. I just took this out. It took away my surprise. I wanted to open it. And it's one in the, or it's in the Bill's wedding band. So he's going to open it. But well, can they see my wedding band? They can see it. But they're not going to see yours. Or was he going to show me? They can see mine too. What that, what that card thing you say? Thank you for the order. Share this gift card. For a set of free wedding bands. So we get more free wedding bands. So the company. That we got this from. Is JVL Jewelry. And hold on. Don't open it yet. <laughs> it's JVL Jewelry. And how I won. They didn't send us anything for free. I mean essentially it was free. But um, when I went to a bridal showcase. Like. A couple of months, actually about a year ago, over a year ago. Um, I won this little card right here. Like the first so many people in the door got a certificate for free wedding bands. And all you have to pay, it's two free bands and all you have to pay is for the shipping. Um, so I looked at the reviews on the company because it seemed a little scamish. Um, but everything seemed like it was fine, and I figure you only pay for the shipping, which is $25 per ring, which is a slightly low to crop because they sent them both in the same package. Um, but anyway, it's only $50 for two rings that are allegedly worth like three, almost $300 each. Why is it following more than mine? So since I was getting the band to match my ring, I got we got one for Nabil and the second ring we got for my dad. Um, long story short, he doesn't have a ring anymore because he works construction and he crushed his original one around his finger. So since then, he never got another one. So now we're about to open it, or Nabil's going to open it, and we get to see how it looks. You don't look excited. Because you already opened the package. <laughs> Oh, this looks a little too heavy. Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at all this junk on the table, though. Your mail. Mm -hmm. You don't get no mail. It's the first mail I got today. <laughs> Ever. Ever? Mm -hmm. Well, I know it's your dad's. Ooh, this is nice. 
This is my dad. Let's see if y'all can see it. Oh, I guess I can't see it on black. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. That's nice. Yeah, that's mine right here. That's <laughs> not. That's my dad's. Okay, let's see yours. Nice. So this is Nabil's ring, super duper duper close up. So you can see the look. Put your settings to 1080p before we're filming in. And this is my dad, super mm -hmm. duper. Ooh, you can see my dad going fingerprints on the thing. But yeah, it's like a silver. I mean, it's black with like a silver band around each side. Houston, we have a problem. Y'all, the ring is too small for the bill. But now, see, I'm scared that um, my dad's is going to be too small for him, too. Because they both want to go get sized at K's on the same day. <laughs> so, the quality of the rings look nice, though. But it look, seems as though... The sizing is not accurate. Either that or Nabil's hands are swollen, which is also a possibility. But they don't look swollen. All right, well, there goes that surprise or that balloon. Oh, it's okay. It's not okay. I went and got my hand size for you. For you. And this is what happens. They give me a too small ring. What am I supposed to do with that? Huh? What am I supposed to do with this? I can't do nothing with this. Definitely that. But I can't do nothing with this. All right, guys. Well, I gotta head out the door. Cause my mom and sister are waiting for me. Hey, we made it to Virginia. How many hours later? An hour and a half. We've been driving. No, what? I said an hour and a half. No, two and a half hours. Just about two hours and 20 minutes so now we have to go in there and try to make them exchange this dress because their exchange policy is like something ridiculous like 30 days and we bought the dress a long time ago but it's defective so they should give it to us but we'll see all right bye we'll let you know how it goes bye success victory is ours <laughs> Did they give you any fuss, Mom? About exchanging it? So they let us exchange it. So we got the dress. Mama got some Spanx. They didn't have any shoes. And now we're on the way back home for another two hour drive. And it's one o'clock. Hopefully it'll be two. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see you when we get home. Clearly we're missing everything else that we were supposed to do today. Because Greg's game starts at 2 and we're not getting home till 3 or after. And then my cousin's party, little cousin's birthday party also starts at 2. So we're probably going to miss that too. So yeah, we'll catch y'all when we get back home. Finally back from Virginia. Forgot to make me a plate. We went to, we did make it to my cousin's birthday, little birthday thing. But I, my mom was in a rush when we left, so I didn't really have time to make the bill a plate. So, he's mad at me. After I did all them dirty dishes, I mean dirt. I didn't even benefit from the food that you cooked. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I didn't get yeah. any of the good stuff you made. Your, your uh, casserole. Chew, you can stay out. I okay, didn't stay any chew. Of the casserole. You stay, buddy. Go entertain And you better me. not poop on this floor, huh? Go entertain me, man. I didn't get any of the casserole, none of the bacon, and I had to wash the dishes. I appreciate you. You gonna drive? My car? It don't matter. Is it raining? No, but the ground is right here. Come on, you can drive, babe, please. 
two stars in the ground. Oh my god. Let me go get this guy some food before I have to kill him. <laughs> so we just came back from Michael's. So we got a couple of things for the wedding. So this is like a mini Michael's haul. We got these little um, signs. This for our table. And then earlier today, we went to Hobby Lobby and the bill hadn't seen this yet. We got this for our guest book. I mean, I guess you can't, you can barely see it because it's black. And then this pen set. So, yeah. Gotta go put this in the wedding bucket. We have a wedding bucket started so that we don't forget stuff or leave it at the house. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go put these in there. <laughs> 